Swain, mm -hmm. any major surprises that you still can't get over at this point? Well, I'm gonna look down here at my bracket, and I think everyone at this uh, this table right here can agree. When we look at Virginia and the draw that they got. To me, it is a disgrace that the committee would do this to them. Now, you look at the South region and you say, why is it a disgrace? Why are you using words like that? Well, let me tell you one thing. You don't get to the Sweet 16 and end up meeting a team that I thought was under seated in Arizona or Kentucky in a Sweet 16. Like, that's unheard of. Those are teams that could have gotten potentially. I mean, their talent level speaks to how well they're playing towards the end of the year, both conference championships. I think Virginia just got a bad draw. Uh, they are, like John said, senior heavy. So they have kind of the makeup of a team that could, could you know, dominate or have a great possessions and be able to win games. But it also comes down to talent, John. A lot of times, you know, you got to have guys that can go get it for you at the end of the shot clock. And both Arizona and Kentucky have guys that can do that. Well, this is just baffling to me because it is, Brent, a miscarriage of justice. You are 31-2. <laughs> and two. You win the ACC regular season title. And in addition to that, you win the ACC tournament title. And think about Virginia's losses. At West Virginia, tough game. Home against Virginia Tech on the last possession. And this is the four or five seed they're going to face in the Sweet 16. Another thing, though, in addition to Virginia having a tough road, there is absolutely no reason, and it's inexcusable, <laughs> that the Kentuckys and the Arizonas in that region should be at the four and the five line. Yes. Because this is something you have to remember. Arizona started the season three and three after the battle for Atlantis. Since that time, they are 24 and four, and Raleigh Alkins didn't play in the loss against Oregon. So think about that. They didn't have Raleigh Alkins for the three losses of the battle for Atlantis, and they also didn't have Raleigh Alkins against Oregon in that defeat. There is no way that Arizona should be on the four line. And with the way Kentucky's playing right now, mm -hmm. you're telling me that by winning the SEC tournament without Jared Vanderbilt, who we agreed was an X factor for this team in February, Kentucky is going to be on the five line. Brent, three words: miscarriage of justice in the region of grit. I thought we were going to ease. we would ease into the show. Luke. This is why the <laughs> committee needs to rethink how they seed teams and how they put teams into this tournament because we want the best 68 teams, mm -hmm. how they are playing in February and March, not how they are playing in November and December. And we've been watching these games all year long, guys, and we've seen this. Kentucky team, a bunch of freshmen come in straight out of high school and not know what they're doing at the beginning of the season. Now they've had a couple months under one of the best coaches in college basketball of all time and getting freshmen better over the course of the year, and they're a completely different team who won the SEC tournament yes. in March. And, and the, the same SEC thing with Arizona. Been, right? well, the same at, thing with Arizona.